Hello and welcome to your weekly uh, guidance or your weekly oracle card reading. Apologies for it being a bit late this week. We have three options this week. We have option number one, which is your unicorn oracle cards. We have your This is Simple by Shonya Choquette um, oracle cards. And we have your Denise Lynn's um, Gateway Oracle cards here. So please make a se selection. It's one, two, or three. And you may go down to the description box below where you will find the timestamp for your reading. So I'm going to just get on with it. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, the question we're asking this week is... Um, what is the answer to your question? What is it that you need to know right now? What is the most pertinent? Um, what is the answer to your most pertinent question as we stand at this moment? Okay. Okay, and so we have. We have the card, just be yourself here. So, um, yeah, the card we have is just be yourself. And the caption reads, you are, you're a great person. Enjoy being yourself. All right. So I've chosen these cards this week because I feel that we need a light message. And we basically need something that's quite easy and quite, uh, quite, quite easy to assimilate, but also quite, um, you know, quite quite a, a a simple on the nose message something that's been something that we just need to know that we haven't been acknowledging about ourselves and the the answer that we have for you this week is just be yourself so i'm hearing here that you know uh, aside from the obvious well um don't don't well the obvious is just be yourself right but what i'm hearing is that uh, don't pretend to be something that you're not or don't try so hard uh, to be what you, you people you think people expect you to be and uh, don't it's okay to simply be yourself it's okay to accept that of you uh, which is you and to be able to relay that and um, you know be that person with other people and so this goes back to you basically being able to accept yourself and being able to really choose yourself it's about being it's about choosing you to be you as opposed to choosing yourself to be somebody that you're not in order to appease others or to appease a given situation so where is it that you still need to uh, choose yourself where is it that you've denied being yourself in order for you to to be something that you're not so that you could be more accepted or that you would be uh better understood or that you could could potentially have your way within a situation. And if you wear yourself, you think that you won't be able to have your way within a situation. So they're giving me this example. They're saying, well, it's okay to be yourself, even if it means sacrificing what it is that you truly want. So it's it's okay to be yourself. And if you are if you are rejected because of that, or if you your your suggestions are rejected because of that, then it isn't meant to be anyway. It's not authentic. You can't go on playing a role that is not you in order for you to be accepted or to to be a part of something you don't need to be a part of something that does not accept you exactly as you are and um so and they they are saying that you know in order to to choose yourself you need to be able to acknowledge yourself and you, you need to be able to 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 choose who you are as a person you need to be the first one who chooses yourself you need to be the one who chooses just to be yourself you need to be the one who accepts who you are exactly as you are and and the way in which you could go about doing that is to begin enjoying yourself to begin um just being yourself and enjoying that part of you and not rejecting that and not feeling, oh, you need to be grown up or you need to behave in a particular manner in order to be accepted once again. But where is it that you can enjoy being yourself? And if you can cherish that that part of you, if you can cherish that part of you that perhaps you're not that proud of or you've not been able to show your, to, to others, then that is the beginning of you being yourself and in choosing to be yourself you choose yourself ultimately so this is how um you're going to be able to answer your questions or what you need to do this week or for the question that you've come to this video for 
It's simply be yourself in this matter. You don't need to wear a mask. You don't need to choose to be somebody else. You don't need to be concerned about what others may think about you being yourself. You simply need to be yourself and in doing so, enjoy being yourself and to recognize um, how authentic you are and how unique you are in being yourself and to cherish that, just to enjoy that, okay? So that is basically uh, your message for this week. And so thank you for coming by and I hope that has been of use to you and I wish you a fantastic week ahead. So moving on to the second option here. For those of you who've chosen the second option, the, the cards are the answer is simple and it's a deck by Sonia, uh, Sonia Chouquet. And the question you'll be asking today is, what is it that you need to hear for this week ahead? What is it that you need to hear for this week ahead? Uh, what is the question that you need to have answered? Oh, 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 sorry, rather, what is the answer to the question that you need to have answered for the moment? And what is it that you need to hear at this moment? Okay, I'm just going to put this back in and begin again. Okay, so this is what I'm hearing here. Okay, so the answer I'm getting here is tell the truth. So where is it that we need to say tell the truth to ourselves? Where is it that we have not been honest with ourselves? How is it that we are, are protecting ourselves from the truth? Or what is it, where is it that we're not being uh, truthful to ourselves? And this may be also, this message may also mean being telling the truth to someone else um, but I'm feeling that this has much to do with you being honest with yourself so there may be a situation in which you're not being honest with yourself where you've been leading yourself on where you've been uh, telling yourself a truth uh, which is not really a truth but just you've been accepting something as the truth which is not true but rather it's a comfort uh, zone for you it's like a, a comfort cushion for you it's like your comfort animal you know it's it's something that um, you've needed to comfort yourself. It's something that you've needed to to take care of yourself. Uh, you've needed to take, take care of yourself and therefore you've told yourself something which is not really true and you've begun to believe it and you've begun to invest in that truth which is not really so. And so the card here is saying, well, it's time to, to be honest with yourself about that and it's time to be able to confront what is true. And in order to do so, you need to be able to be brave enough and to have the courage to open that door and to see the situation for what it really is. You may, uh, in so, for some of you where that message doesn't resonate, it may simply mean that you need to tell the truth with regard to other circumstances. So is there another situation that you need to tell the truth in? Is there a situation where you might have um, exaggerated the truth or perhaps embellished um what what the truth perhaps you've added something in which would change the result or change the the outcome well here you need to go back in and just tell the truth you need to be able to um clarify you need to be able to clear up what it is that has been said already and for some of you i feel that uh, if that message that that message resonates with you i feel that you would actually uh, know exactly where this is, where you need to go back and clarify the truth. It may have something to do with an administrative matter or a bureaucratic matter or regarding a health situation or regarding um, uh, something to do with authorities or something to do with uh, others like higher ups, for instance. And I feel that this is something that you really need to clear up as soon as possible. And it's going to set you free when you do that. Okay. Um, I also feel here that there's more than one way of being able to tell the truth. Sorry. Um, there's more than one way of being able to tell the truth. And it's not it's not about lying about it or it's not about embellishing the truth once again. But it's um, it's the way in which you convey it. It needs to be... It, the way in which you convey this truth uh, can be done in order to uh, sustain the least amount of damage. Okay, so the, what I'm hearing here is that you, when you tell the truth, there are going to be consequences to this. But there's a way in which you can go about doing it, in which you will 
you will not have such dire consequences to to deal with. So think about how it is that you go about telling the truth here and what it is that you need to do in order to be able to come to the truth that is your truth. Um, to go back to the first uh, option, the first meaning that I had here, there is something that uh, I'm hearing again that it's the number nine and feels to me like a completion. Uh, there's something that needs to be completed here. There's something you need to be able to tell the truth in order for you to come to the end of something, to be able to finish something. So there might have been something that began last year or a year ago um, which, or, or some time ago where you've still needed to bring it to an end to closure you needed to tie up the loose ends and i'm feeling that if you tell the truth you will be able to tie up the loose ends here and that t telling the truth has been is going to be an important part of being able to move ahead um and and bring closure to this matter the other thing i'm hearing is that you know you don't need to discredit yourself or you don't need to um pull yourself back you don't need to uh, hold yourself back in this you don't and it's not about drawing undue attention to you and you don't need to be afraid of doing that it's just simply about going ahead and saying what you need to say about yourself or or just telling the truth ultimately what is the truth in this matter you know separated from your emotions separated from your fears separated from what you think the cons consequences may be and tell yourself the truth first and then see if you can find a way to share it with others okay so that's your message for those of you who've chosen the second option here um yeah and i hope that's been helpful for you and i'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead so we're moving on now to the third option. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the third option here, the cards are the Gateway Oracle cards by Denise Lynn. And the question we're asking is, what is it that we need to know this week? What is the message that you've come here to hear? What is the answer to your question today? we have here today is emerging into grace I open my soul to grace okay so here I'm getting different feelings regarding this and I'm, I'm picking up on, on yeah different different emotions different messages for you and the first one I'm picking up is that you don't have any control of where this is going to, so simply surrender to it. Um, there is a path that is has been created already, and you are going to walk into this path. It's like there's this hole in a in 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 your path, and you're simply going to fall into this. And there's nothing at this moment that you can do about it, but simply surrender to it. And surrendering to it means accepting that it is this and that it is going to go this way for the moment and that this is where you need to be right now and simply falling allowing yourself to fall in it and allowing yourself to simply enjoy going along in this route and falling along in this path and and doing so in a graceful manner in a manner in which you surrender to what is there for you so that is one of the messages that I'm receiving. Um, I'm hearing that for some of you, this is something that there's an ending here. It's something that needs to come to an end. It's something that needs to go to sleep. It's something that needs to die. It's something that needs to be put behind. It's something that's run its course and it's at its end. And you emerging into grace allows it to come to an end in a graceful manner. It allows it to surrender in this graceful manner it allows you to fly along in a manner in which it it's as if you're being lifted by the wind and you're just taken off and where is it that you need to go to well you don't really know and you don't really see but there is something that's holding you and something that's taking you along and you need to surrender to that 
okay? The other message I'm hearing here is that it's time to stop fighting. Well, it kind of ties into the first one, but it's not exactly the same message. It's, um, it's time to stop fighting. It's time to simply give in. It's time to stop resisting. It's time to accept what is before you. It's time to accept what it is that you have and simply enjoy that or be grateful for it and allow it. Allow it to be you. Allow yourself to adopt the identity of that which you have already. Stop resisting what it is that you have. Own it. Take it for you. Merge into it and be do so gracefully so that you can actually be a part of it in order for, to be able to fix this problem or to grow from it or to be get beyond it in order for you to resolve the situation whatever it is you need to be able to fully accept it as your own problem to fully accept it as a situation that you need to work with so how is it that you need to do this well simply accept simply surrender Simply merge into grace, as they call it. I'm hearing also that you might need a lot of time to rest, a lot of time to sleep. You might be feeling more sleepy than generally. You need to be able to allow this. If you need to have extra sleep, if you need to have extra rest, if you need to take a lot more time for yourself, then give yourself that. Luxuriate in it. It's important for you to have that at this moment and it's important for you to be able to allow yourself to grow through this and the way in which you do that is to step back and simply to accept and in doing so it means that you perhaps don't do anything at this moment perhaps don't take action be passive in the circumstance and allow it to take place allow it to be and in doing so you will learn what it means to be graceful within the situation. You will learn to stop fighting and to stop struggling and to simply be graceful, to allow your soul to meander through its lo this life in a graceful fashion. And I'm not hearing anything else right now other than take time for this to happen it's not going to happen overnight and it's not going to it's going to take a bit of time for you to merge into this and it's also going to take a bit of time for you to for it to become you and i feel that through this process that you undergo this transformation that you're undergoing at this moment um which requires you to merge into grace i feel that you will come out the other end having changed and you will embody this grace that you are being advised to merge into now. So that is my message for you for this week. And I hope that this message resonates with you and that it helps you in some way. And I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.